So again, I'm here with another episode on one of the most ambitious and super innovative mega construction project that will make you go stun. Yes, I'm talking about the Itahad Railway. Spending over $11 billion with over 1,200 km of freight and passenger railway network that stretches from the Emirates from the Gulf of Oman to the Persian Gulf. It is till date the most ambitious railway project ever constructed in a sand-filled desert in the entire world. Hang on, it's not just this railway network. There's much more to it. Before we move on, I like you to hit like button. I've got the target of 100 likes for this video. If you're new to I am civil engineer, I welcome you on board and want you to subscribe to get such latest construction and innovative projects. So, the Itahad Railway is just one part of this gigantic venture. The actual project comprises of over 2,000 km of railway network, connect six of the Middle East's wealthiest countries. Can you ever imagine a railway network right in the middle of the desert sand dunes? But how to tackle those immense challenges including crossing sand desert and tunneling through the mountains? That's why the golden price tag of $100 billion is justified. It's an attempt by the Gulf Cooperation Council to connect six richest countries in the Gulf. It's a way to reshape the transport sector with a sustainable project. It's an attempt to reduce carbon footprint and kickstart a whole new era of economic development. The multifold challenges of the project to overcome are political, financial, and logistical nature. The all-inspiring idea for this project was revealed in February 1981 in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. The leaders of Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, UA, Qatar, Bahrain, and Oman met to form some sort of grand political and economic alliance in the name of Gulf Cooperation Council. Because their economies are oil and gas central, it's an attempt to reshape their economies after the Great Recession and hit two economies. That's where this railway project comes in. In 2009, the GCC approved a massive railway project that would link all six member states. The cost would be divided among the countries, with the entire project estimated to be between $100 to $250 billion. A key element of the network is Itahad Railway, an $11 billion, 1,200 km freight and passenger railway stretching across the Emirates from the Gulf of Oman to the Persian Gulf. Let's now talk about the project's salient features and some of the innovative ideas being followed. The UAA's first national rail network is being constructed in two stages. The first stage was completed in 2016 and spans 264 kilometers from the Habshan and Shah areas in Abu Dhabi to the port of Ruwais. It's a tough working environment to say the least. It can get so hot in the summer that some construction sites operate at night. When temperatures are closer to 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit, sand makes for difficult, shifting terrain. Itihad learned from others who have built in the desert, including China, Saudi Arabia, and Mauritania. Those nations found solutions like turning sand dunes to clay over many years, monitoring the shifting dunes and planting walls of vegetation to block wind and sand. Itihad Rail's locomotive design includes a sand filtration system and sand plow to help mitigate the challenges of the sand. In Stage 1, Itihad Rail constructed 20 overbridges, 2 underbridges, 10 road underpasses, and 18 smaller underpasses for future use. The company also built two factories to produce concrete railway sleepers made from locally sourced raw materials, which form the base of the tracks. Each sleeper is 2.6 meters long and weighs 340 kilograms. They're attached to the main rails with a fastening system and are used to help stabilize the track and ensure the train can travel smoothly at speeds of up to 200 kilometers an hour for passenger trains. But this first route isn't transporting passengers just yet. 
Rather, it's carrying up to 22,000 tons of granulated sulfur across 110 wagons each day. The element is extracted from the oil fields in Abu Dhabi and processed for export at the port of Ruwai, where it goes on to be used to manufacture everything from batteries to fertilizers and fireworks. Itihad Rail has transported more than 30 million tons of granulated sulfur for the Abu Dhabi National Oil Company. As of mid-2021, Itihad says a single train journey reduces carbon dioxide emissions by 70 to 80 percent compared to if those trips were to be made by trucks. That's significant for an economy with one of the highest carbon footprints in the world. That efficiency has also helped make the Emirates the world's top exporter of sulfur, bringing in $679 million in 2019. Much of that sulfur likely went to China, the world's largest importer of the element, who also happens to be involved in stage two of the project.